Jackass. Run for president, but don't be the world's biggest jackass. And he gave this number. In a first for presidential politics, Trump retaliated by fishing out Graham's cell phone number. 202. And sharing it with the world. You know, he won't fix anything, but at least he'll talk to you. Graham's voicemail quickly filled up. Probably getting a new phone, he later tweeted. In Spartanburg, South Carolina, their fellow candidate, Jeb Bush, tried to tone things down. If we embrace this language of divisiveness and ugliness, we'll never win. But fans who waited hours to see Trump be Trump urged him to keep it up. He speaks his mind. He says what he believes. And you either accept it or you don't. Mm -hmm. But he should not apologize for anything that he says. And I respect him for that. And inside, it wasn't all insults. The GOP frontrunner also discussed the economy. Every country that we do business with looks at us as a patsy. Stupid, stupid people. And foreign policy. I'm the only ones that don't do a rap. If you look at Reuters, July of 2004, Headline, Trump said, don't do Iraq. And I'm the most militaristic person ever. I'm Jared Dillingham, 3TV. Tomorrow, Donald Trump heads to the border. He'll travel to Laredo, Texas for a tour with Border Patrol agents. Yeah, Trump expected to expand on his very controversial comments about immigrants when he referred to them as criminals and rapists. More on that story. Also, Good Evening Arizona continues next at 5. That's right. As you look for love.